Raise your hand if you are done dealing with restrictive and rigid CRM tools that do not understand your use cases. Raise your hand if you are done paying for expensive SaaS based CRM tools that charge you more as the number of your contacts increase. Raise your hand if you're truly done duct taping different marketing solutions and making them talk to each other. You want a robust CRM that understands WooCommerce like a BFF, best friend forever, and allows you unlimited contacts with unlimited emails. You got it. Introducing Autonomy 2.0, the WordPress CRM built for serious marketers like you and me. With rich customer profiles and incredibly impressive insights about every customer, such as their last order date, their average order value, the total revenue earned from them, their last email open date and more all available at your fingertips, the tech marketer in you is sure to love every bit of it. You can go beyond the old school way of segmenting your contacts, which is by tags and lists. Instead, you can create smarter segments such as by items bought, average order value, and many more such smart segments to speak to your customers with more relevant messages. You can reach out to your contacts using email and SMS campaigns, both of which you can manage and track from a single interface without leaving WordPress. Can you think of any other CRM which gives you this kind of superpower? I'm sure not. What's more, you ask? Well, there's A-B testing for your broadcast campaigns. You get the most robust automation engine that allows you to create powerful workflows, such as for abandoned cart recovery, post-purchase, win back and many more. You can create beautiful sign up forms using form builders you love such as WP forms, Elementor, Gravity forms and more and send data over to Autonomy. Well, Autonomy also works out of the box with apps and tools you love such as Slack, Twilio, Zapier and many other connectors. Well, I have no reason to make you keep waiting. So let's dive right in and go behind the scenes and start with the contacts. All right, so we are in the back end now. Let's start with the lifeline of a CRM that is contacts. The first thing that you will notice in contacts is rich contact profile. You can view detailed insights about every contact that you cannot even imagine seeing in a generic CRM. You can view the purchases they made from your store, email and SMS campaigns they received, the funnels they entered and much more. You can also assess how active they are from their last login date, last email opened, the last order placed on your store and more. Get more insights about every contact from their total spend, average order value, spend on a funnel and more. This is the kind of information you'd never be able to find at one place and would have to visit various different interfaces to connect the dots. The next really impressive thing about it is easy import. Importing contacts is super easy in Autonomy. Just click on import icon on the right and you will see that there are three options right now to import your contacts. If you're already using a CRM, you can download the CSV file and upload it into Autonomy. Make sure the information about every contact is separated into columns and be sure to separate the tags added to the contacts by commas. The other two methods are importing from WordPress and WooCommerce as a source. Now let me show you how to import contacts from WooCommerce. Click on WooCommerce and you will see the number of orders that are available for upload. These are completed and processing orders on your website. You can add tags to the contacts entering via this route. For example, customer is a tag. You may add them to a list. Hit this toggle to mark the contacts as subscribers. 
and turn this one green if you wish to trigger automation associated with the added tag. Once you're done, hit import and in few seconds, all the contacts from WooCommerce will be imported into Autonomy. Now let's view one of the contacts that we added. Click on a contact that's a WC order. There you go. You can view all the detailed insights about them in one place, such as the profile information, purchases made, emails sent out, and much more. Next, let's move on to audience. You can segment your contacts and save them as audience. It makes reaching out to them with highly targeted and relevant messages really simple. This bubble at the top shows you how many saved audiences you have. Now let's create a new audience. For that, go on Add New. Give a title to your audience. We'll call it the VIP customers. Enter any description you like. Now further define the filters. You can go on to WooCommerce and click on average order value or total revenue. You can define a number here and even use multiple filters in conjunction. For example, their total revenue is over $100 and the total order count is greater than say three. So you can use multiple filters in conjunction with each other to create highly relevant audience. That's it. Once done, hit save and your audience will get successfully saved. Let's move on to carts. Now setting up abandoned cart recovery workflows is a challenge in any external CRM. You need to make multiple tools communicate with each other and well, it just doesn't work out of the box. Except here in Autonomy. Built for WooCommerce, it works right inside of WordPress. Now here we have built-in cart recovery workflows that are really smart. We'll show you how to set up one in just a bit. Here you can view your recoverable carts, that is where users left their email or phone number on the checkout page and you can reach out to them. The recovered carts. Of course, the carts that got recovered through your automated workflows and finally the lost cards, the cards that could not be recovered in a given timeline. Well, now let's move over to the linchpin of a CRM that is campaigns. Within campaigns, you have automations and broadcast. Let's click on automations. Now here we've set up a simple abandoned cart recovery workflow. So when someone abandons their cart, they get an email with a link to recover the same. So the event is when someone abandons a cart. And further, we've chosen conditional action allowing us to set conditions. So we've got two conditions here. If their cart total is over $50 and the cart contains coupons. Now this group of abandoned users are most likely to complete their purchase, hence we're reaching out to them with a personalized message. Let's click on the email. The body copy is personalized and more relevant to the recipients. And further, as you can notice, we've set a delay of 15 minutes. So let's zoom back a bit. There are three components of this automation. We've got trigger. Now, since Autonomy is built for WooCommerce, you'll find very meaningful triggers such as cart abandoned, cart recovered, order created, order created per item, new review added, and more. There's the robust rule engine. You can set conditions to run your campaigns in case of abandoned cart sequence. These are cart total, cart items, cart item count, coupon used, and more. And finally, we have smart action. You can trigger an action in Autonomy. WordPress, WooCommerce, a connector, a supported plugin, and more. Well, now within campaigns, let's move to broadcast. Can you imagine being able to send SMS and email campaigns both from your CRM? SMSs have an open rate of 99% and a click-through rate of 35%. Yet, 
CRMs don't give you the capability to run, manage, and track your SMS campaigns. That changes when you use Autonomy. Because it deeply integrates with Twilio messaging app, it allows you to send and track email and SMS campaigns from the same interface. Well, now let's create a new email broadcast campaign. To do that, click on Add New, give a name, for example, Black Friday Sale. Select Standard or A-B Test if you want to split test your campaign. Let's select Standard and move over to Contacts. Here you can choose a segment to target. You can add a filter. Choose segments if you wish to sort the list by tag and list or go beyond tags and lists with contact details, custom fields, geography, WooCommerce and engagement. In WooCommerce, you can further select has made a purchase, has used coupon, order count, revenue, AOV and more such filters. In engagement, you can choose last open, click and login date to reach out to a specific group of customers. Now let's choose in WooCommerce last order date. Select a date here from the date picker. Let it be 10th of June 2021. You can save this audience if you want and you can even add multiple filters. Next, create your email content here. You can add from name, email, subject line, all the basic details. For your body copy, you can choose from text, HTML and drag and drop. Choose drag and drop and launch the editor. You can design your email using content, block and body settings from the menu. Once you're happy with your email, just save the design, cross out and move over to the next tab, which is review and schedule. You can choose to send your email right away or schedule for a later date and time. One feature that particularly stands out is in A-B testing. On selecting A-B testing, Autonomy allows you to add more variants to your email. You can split test, subject line, from lines, email body copy and more. The smart sending option allows you to define a percentage of your contacts to which both the variants will go. The winning variant gets sent out to the remaining percentage of contacts. The winning variant is the one with higher open rates. So this was just a glimpse of broadcast in Autonomy. And you have similar options for broadcast SMS. So that's it. That was for broadcast. Now under campaigns, you also have templates. Well, templates is basically you can save your emails as templates and keep them for future use. So now let's move over to forms, which is indeed a very important part of a CRM. Now, most CRMs out there let you build forms, but you cannot design beautiful forms unless you use a really good form builder plugin. And that is why we at Ornami decided to offer you deep integration with various form builders. And of course, these plugins are really good at their job. I'm talking about WP forms, Ninja forms, Gravity forms, Elementor forms, and so on. So when you go on add new, you can enter the name of the form. Let's just call it uh, the sign up form. And here, you can select from the list Elementor, Gravity, WP Forms and more. Let's select WP Forms. Let's choose the testing form. On the next step, you can map the fields. So mapping will allow you to store the information correctly. So map the name with first name, map the email with email and map the gender with gender. There you go. You can add tags to the contacts entering through the form. You can even subscribe them to lists. You may want to update existing contacts and trigger related automation. That's it. Go to next step. And here, if you want, you can enable lead notification. That's it. If you hit the toggle, it will enable the lead notification for you. And what this will do is that people will get an email to confirm their subscription. And only if they confirm, will they be added uh, to the list. That's optional, of course. You may hit the toggle, you may hit the second toggle to auto confirm contacts, which means that the leads entering through this form will be automatically marked as subscribers. 
once you are satisfied with the mapping that you've done you simply have to hit activate and you are good to go that's it now let's move on to analytics Autonomy gives you really deep insights into how your campaigns are performing. It goes way beyond open rate and click through rate to give you much more meaningful data that you can bring back to the table and make use of it. Starting with the carts, you can see how your abandoned cart recovery sequences are performing. So your recoverable carts, the potential revenue at stake, the recovered revenue recovery rate, lost cards and so on you can see the charts with all the data plotted right here next we've got contacts again you can always choose the date from the top to uh, sort of see the data in a particular time period and then you can view the contacts added the total contacts total customers out of the contacts which is absolutely great because no other crm can give you that kind of data it's beyond their scope really you can see your unsubscribers and so on further let's move on to emails like i said you can go beyond open rate and click through rate to also look at the orders placed from the emails that you're sending out and the revenue generated which is again insane because that is really the measurement of the performance of your email campaigns similarly you have sms and then you have engagement. So well, this is actually a very meaningful data shown by Autonomy based on how people are interacting with your emails and what time of the day they're opening your emails. Not just what time of the day, but also what day of the week are most popular for your store. So this information is pure gold because you can bring it back to the table and modify tweak your future campaigns uh, to make sure that they are sent out on the right days of the week and on the right time of the week so like here our popular days are monday tuesday and wednesday and of course the most popular time as i can see is uh, 9 a.m 2 p.m and 3 p.m so well there you go i already know what i need to do to make my emails convert better moving on to connectors autonomy also connects with various different crms such as active campaign convert kit get response drip and more it also connects with some really smart apps and tools that you love and use such as bitly uh, then you've got uh, twilio slack zapier and more there's also cliff there's also clavio hubspot keep mailchimp and all those crms too so well this is actually a powerhouse and i have no reason to believe why you wouldn't love what you see so i would highly encourage you to go ahead and explore more about autonomy uh well just go ahead and click on the link in the description and i'm pretty sure you will be blown away by what you see i really hope that you enjoyed this content i really hope that you enjoy learning more about autonomy for any questions well do drop them in the comment box below i will be happy to take them up for you thank you for tuning in that's me tafleen and i will see you on the other side